Hey guys, Dimebot here. Welcome back to another Odyssey video. Uh, continuing to take a look at your comments, and I've been asked to uh, take a look at exobiology again. Scanning planets and all that. A couple people have actually asked to so thank you guys for those. Now, I am in a system where we've been running some of the frontline combat missions. And I actually have not bothered to scan anything around this place, so... We can go ahead and do that. Oh my god, the game is loud for some reason. That may just be my headphones. Why can't we have a master volume in this game? It's 2021. Get on that frontier. Apply. Proof that I do these live. So, one of the things that we want to make sure that we have is a detailed surface scanner. Need these to scan for biological life on the surface of a planet. Very self explanatory. Just make sure you've got one. Alright, we're going to pop on up here and get away from the planet. I'm going to bring us to 90 degrees. So, first things first, make sure that you're switched into analysis mode, which I am. There is my surface scanner. So I just want to get up into orbital cruise range now. With my luck, this planet's not going to have any biological life signs on it. And all I can say for that, guys, is, uh, you know, I've seen several comments. I've searched around for a while, you know, a couple hours, and haven't found anything. Not every planet has life. Um, you're just going to have to keep looking. So I have not dug into how Stellar Forge and the different systems randomly generate that, but... I've seen plenty of planets that just plain don't have life signs on them. So, bear that in mind. And we are still not real far away from this planet. Uh, let's have a look-see, shall we? I think I can turn night vision off. Right, actually... So, this ought to be about good enough. Now, uh, this is the detailed surface scanner. I play on a HOTA, so my button for this is going to be different than y'all's. Just check your key bindings. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get my scan on here. I hit one in the center. I've been real off on my uh, hitting the efficiency targets recently, so this may not go that great. But, what can you do? Well, it looks like we got it. Nope. Oh, that probe hasn't even hit yet. Patience, Dinebot. Patience. So, yeah, check it out. No life. Right? Well, for the magic of editing, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, mess around until I find a plant that's got some life for you guys. So, I will see you after the cut. Alright, guys. So, here we are. It took me a couple minutes, but... I have found a, another planet, and it does have life. In fact, it's got two different types of biological signals and six types of human. So if you want to flip through these and select them on the heat map that's on the planet, you need to go back into your detailed surface scanner. Now, again, using an X-52, so the switch here is on one of my hat switches. Your key is probably going to be different, but it will display it up there at the top where it says signal filter. So, we've got bacterial colonies and stratum. Now, the human notable signals, they're going to be over here. <clears throat> Impact site, crash site, irregular markers, crash site, the different installations that are on this planet. Now, I personally have had a hell of a time finding bacterial colonies, so we're not going to mess with that. Instead, I'm going to look for the stratum. As you can see, the heat map is pretty dense right here at this part of the planet, so I'm just going to swing on out and bring us down, and we'll get out on foot and we'll take a look. Now, bear in mind, they did take away the minigame, uh, so 
I'm going to sound like a dick when I say this, but there is even less gameplay involved now than there was before. But we're still going to walk through it because you guys asked and uh, I want to deliver. And this is looking nice and dense. One thing to keep in mind is once we drop into Glide, the heat map overlay is going to go away. I do wish there was a toggle for it. See, it's gone. I wish there was a toggle for it in normal flight. There is not. So we're just going to have to get low and slow and look by eye. And I should probably hop in my Artemis suit. Yeah, now we're just doing the old eyeball method. I don't know why there's not a way to toggle the filter down here. Uh, you can still toggle your different modes. But as you can see, module can only be used in Super Cruise. So I'm going to stow my weapons. And we may have gotten super lucky. Those are not normal rocks. Looks like we can land right over here if the game wants to cooperate with us. I've noticed that finding a good spot to land can be a little more of a pain than it used to be, but whatever. Well, that's quite the alignment. Yeah, this happens to me a lot. We'll get down here and it's like unsuitable terrain. It's like you just told me I could land. There we go. All right, let's disembark and have a look around. All right, so get a rifle, get a pistol, energy link, profile analyzer, and what we want, a genetic sampler. So you have a right click to scan. Here we have some lovely material to sample. Walk up to it, hold down the left mouse. There we go, Bacterium orasis teal. Now again, insufficient genetic diversity. And as we move, you'll see that as I click, this is a different species. So you got to be careful, guys, because if you see, if I partial sample or sample this one, my other one will be discarded. They are handily color curated for us, at least. But you still have to make sure that you travel around to a sufficient distance to get more samples. Now, I have done it in an SRV, and I've also done it in a ship, and I've also done it on foot because I'm a masochist. Don't do it on foot. One of the easiest things to do is to just get back in your ship, lift off, and move a little bit. So we can take a look at doing just that. Uh, this is really what it is now. Um, the main questions I've seen have been the scanning. And like I said, you just need a detailed surface scanner and you need to have some patience to find a planet that has some life on it. If I ever actually find any bacterial colonies, I'll be sure to let you guys know because we spent a good half hour running around one day and couldn't find any. So, Let's move a little bit. Now, one of the reasons I made a comment about the density on the map is it cuts down on the obnoxious amount of traveling around that you might have to do. So we haven't gone all that far. Unsuitable terrain. Of course it's unsuitable. But we've got several more samples here. So you're going to save yourself a lot, of, a lot of pain if you aim for a densely or what appears to be a densely populated part of the heat map rather than a location that may not have a whole lot. Being on foot really gives you a sense of the scale of this game, doesn't it? What? Okay, was I hallucinating just then?
Anyways, guys, there's no need for you to watch me run around in circles and ramble. You get three samples of, the, of whatever it is. Your canister completes. You go back and you sell it. That's really all there is to it. If you want some more follow-up on exobiology, just let me know, and I will be happy to address those questions for you. If you found the video helpful or interesting, like, subscribe. I know most of you aren't subscribed, so I would love it if you would subscribe. It really helps channel out. Leave your comments and questions below. My name is Undyba, and I will see you all next time.